Hi, and welcome to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel, and we're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. Thanks for joining us today. For my first guest tonight, we're going to be talking with the lovely and brightly colored <laughs> Taj Middleton. Uh, you know, I... It was like this kind of like mind meld thing. I, think I know. Look had. at us. We feel springy. Right. I think is well, what it is. Well, the weather is gorgeous, so we the have to celebrate. Is yes. Here, here. So Taj is the um, director of volunteer services and community outreach coordinator here <laughs> at Metro East Community Media and KZME Radio. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. And so I get the pleasure of working with you all the time. But as many of us do here at Metro East, we all do a little volunteer work on our own time. Yes, we do. Yes, yes we do. Because we are. Metro East is a nonprofit, and KZME is a nonprofit. Yeah. We're, we're all about working with the community. Absolutely. So, Taj, you are here today to represent the Mount Tabor Art Walk. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, the Mount Tabor Art Walk happens uh, May 18th, the weekend of May 18th through mm -hmm. the 19th. Um, that's Saturday and Sunday. It's from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, and it's going to be in and around the southeast neighborhoods there. And there's about, about the Mount Tabor area. Mount Tabor. Exactly. <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> um, Mount Tabor, a little bit down, uh, farther down, but, but for the most part, generally in the Mount Tabor area, there's going to be 40 artists, 25 sites, free admission. So this is Ooh, kind of... Oh, that's my favorite price. <laughs> I know, right? I like that. So this, and if the weather's beautiful, oh my goodness, it's going to be so much fun to just walk around and look at some of the great local arts. So is this a walkable tour? Can you actually go from one house to the other? Are they are they in a in a proximity? Pretty good yes, proximity they pretty to much are. There's a couple sites that are a little scattered outside, but for the most part, everybody's kind of in a cluster. Um, so. Uh, yeah, you know, and you don't have to start at site number one. Ah, so you can um, start anywhere. You can in start the anywhere you want. you want. Maps. We do have maps for the Art Walk, um, and they are at uh, certain businesses around town. Some of those businesses. Um, are these businesses that are sponsoring the businesses, Art Walk? Exactly, businesses that are sponsoring the Art Walk, like the Portland Nursery, Rain or Shine Coffee House. Um, Luke Dulcus Arts and Framing. So those are some of the places you can pick up a map, mm -hmm. or. You can also head on over to MountTaborArtWalk.com, and there's a big picture of the map there. Um, and there's a, so there's a picture of the map on one side, and then the other side there's a whole page of all of the artists and their contact information, their oh, websites. Um, so you can kind of check out, check everybody out, and kind of plot where you want to go on the. Tell me, tell me who it. the other sponsors are, so people, you know, go through them slowly, so people know where they can get these maps, if, or, or, or perhaps even, uh, you know, go to these places of business and say, thanks for exactly. sponsoring that artwork. You know, and it's, again, it's, it's the community coming together, kind of rallying mm -hmm. around local artists. We've got some great local talent yeah, here, and I'm so used to saying that on the radio, KZME. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to saying that on the radio, but we've got so many great local artists here in the community, mm -hmm. and these are some of the sponsors. Um, that are that are working with the Art Walk this year. Belmont Family Dentistry, Cargo. Cargo um, owned by the wonderful Patty Merrill. I have to put in a plug in for my uh, <laughs> my cousin. Um, Common Grounds Coffee House, Hawthorne Auto Clinic. I've been framed. Um, Luke Dulcus Art and Framing, which I mentioned earlier. Muse Art and Design, Portland Nursery, Rain or Shine Coffee House, and Realty Trust. These are some of the sponsors that are right. working with the Art Great. Mount Tabor Art Walk this year. Fun. Now, so be tell fun. me, you said there's about 40 artists yes. that are involved. What yes. kind of art can we expect at the Art Walk? Um, so you're going to have mosaic uh, artists, folks mm -hmm. that do. Um, there's one artist in particular, um, and I think we'll be able to show some of his work in a second here. Um, but mosaic art, um, some wood tuning, woodworking, um, some jewelry designers, just all kinds and painting of painting. And and pa yeah, yeah, exactly, and painting mm -hmm. all kinds of um, visual, visual arts, multimedia visual arts. Cool. Absolutely. Well, so you, book, but there's a book binder that does these beautiful, beautiful, oh, really? hand-bound nice. books. So oh, cool. Yeah. Well, what, um, we do have some pictures, so maybe we yes, can we take do. a look at some of those now. Oh yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. <coughs> okay, ooh, now isn't that lovely? So this is by Kiana Kaiser Mosley, who's actually going to be um, stop number one uh, for this year's Art Walk. Um, and this is a heavy, um, I believe, oil painting. Uh, mm. Really, she uses a lot of texture and... Uh, I like that. Oh, yeah, and very bright, vibrant colors. Very bright, vibrant nice. colors. 
Um, here's some abstracts, nice mask there. Um, yeah, she does a lot of great work. You have a lot of her, her work uh, represented here, don't you? I do, I do. <laughs> this is me. another one that I believe is a, a watercolor of hers. Um, and she does paintings. Very um, and Yeah, and then she also does little greeting cards and personal stationery. Um, so, she, and again, she's going to be featured um, at this year's Art Walk. So that's stop number stop one. Stop number so one, see absolutely. Kiana, uh, Ki Kiana, Kiana Kaiser, Kaiser Mosley, Mosley. Absolutely, thank you, thank you. absolutely. Like that. Absolutely. So, and will some of those things, like the note cards and things, be available for sale? Do you know? Or? Um, she well, a lot of the artists, I believe, are going mm -hmm. to have some of their artwork um, that you can purchase, um, and then they'll have information about themselves. Some of these artists do, um, some of these artists do classes, community oh. classes, oh. and and stuff like that. So, you know, you'll be able to purchase some if you'd like, and. Or, like I said, it's like a free museum right there in know, your neighborhood. how fun, how fun. Yeah. And Mount Tabor is a great area for walking around anyway. There's some really it nice is. homes and some, it is. you know, and the park's right there. So the park, yes. You it, could kind of make it a day of it. You could go out up to the park, you take a break in the middle of the day, go up and have lunch and mm -hmm. come back down and check out some more artwork. Hopefully we have a weekend that is nice and sunny and yeah. hot. <laughs> If not, head down Good to one weather. of those coffee shops exactly. and get yourself exactly. a sandwich or Good something. Good weather will definitely, definitely work uh, on the weekend of May 18th and 19th. Um, but again, 40 artists, 25 sites, free admission, uh, Saturday and Sunday, May 18th and 19th from 10 to 5. So it's both days, okay. Both days. and. Um, all of the so you'll have the map here uh -huh. and all of the sites all of the homes that are going to be showing art will have these nice big yellow and black signs oh, so it'll be easy to on find their lines them. lawns absolutely you don't have to With go around trying to i can never see the, knocking on the doors house numbers you know yeah yeah so there there will be nice big visual indicators of homes that are participating Good. Good. in the art walks so. yeah well let's see what what 25 homes yeah. And see, that's kind of perfect. You can do half of them on Saturday and half on Sunday if you want. That is true, absolutely. And yeah. some of the some of the homes have doubled up, and there's two artists that oh, are being shown okay. in the homes. So, Good. so yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, you can make it a nice little arty, arty weekend. artsy fartsy weekend. Artsy fartsy weekend, <laughs> Good. absolutely. Tosh, while I have you on the show, while I have you as my captive uh, on the show, yes. Tell me a little bit about um, what's going on here at Metro East. Since you're the volunteer director, we had a big event. Last we did weekend. have a big event. That was really, and really fun. you just fun. completely put me on the spot. Sorry. Not, not that I yeah. mean, not that I can't remember back that far. It was just um, a couple. We days. had an amazing event. We had some great food by Rock in the Smoke barbecue. barbecue. That brisket uh, was to die for. Yes. Oh my goodness. Um, and we had a wonderful photo booth provided by Sarah Vision Photography. Mm -hmm. um, that was fun. <laughs> where we all dressed up, wearing a funky, I don't know what it is and... that you know you put a photo booth in and amongst a uh, hundred plus adults, and they just turn into kids. <laughs> and so that was a lot of fun. fun. Um, but we also acknowledged, of course, volunteers. This was a volunteer recognition mm -hmm. event, so we acknowledged volunteers from KZME Radio, and we also acknowledged volunteers from um, Metro, Metro East, East. Yes. Um, but we three special awards were given out or recognitions right. rather mm -hmm. and that was our um, volunteer of the year which was Miss Jessica Gway. Jessica has been so instrumental helping out on, on staff shoots other other volunteer shoots yes. and her own. She's yeah, and always at KZME. Willing, always smiling, bringing yes. her baby with her if she needs to. <laughs> Which is kind of like the joke, like everybody, you know, she was, when she first got pregnant, we thought that she was done. Oh, we're not gonna see her for, you know, 12 months, a year, whatever. Yeah. And, um, but she volunteered right yeah. up until she gave Springs birth. The and then once Sade, the baby's name, once Sade was, was what, a couple months old, Sade came in and sat quietly in the corner while uh, Jessica ran camera or <laughs> ran know. teleprompter. So, um, so yes, Jessica is uh, was a uh, volunteer of the year this year, and then we actually had a tie for rookie of the year, Robert Sain. Um, excuse me, um, Robert Sains. Robert Sains, and, and Steve, Steve Zahn. Zahn. Steve Absolutely. Zahn is our, uh, my. Uh, floor director here tonight. Thanks, Steve, <laughs> doing a great job. <laughs> Absolutely. So that was fun. It's always fun to acknowledge. First of all, just throw a celebration um, for all of the volunteers and the work that they do throughout the year. I mean, really, as I said, um, that evening, this is a community radio, tele, excuse me, 
This is a community television station. And, and we acknowledge the, the radio station. It's a community television station, radio station, and that means it does not exist without the community. Right, right. And a lot of our volunteers, we had some 25, we had a 25 year um, People have volunteer, been here for 25 Kevin years. Irvin, exactly. Yeah. 25 years volunteering at Metro East. Um, one of our staff members, Sandy, oh was acknowledged um, and given People a... People don't leave. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's a great they place. love it here, yeah. absolutely. So we just, you know, it was a great night of acknowledgement, um, great food, fun. It was a lot of fun. It's good. Now, don't forget we had a video there. The volunteer we did video have a video there. created by our own Mike Canty. Uh, absolutely. And Jessica Gway, who was our Volunteer of the Year, was the, the star of it. Yes, so she it was. was. like a film noir kind of hard-boiled detective and the beautiful woman. And But then it had a Wizard of Oz theme sort of <laughs> worked into it. It was Played great by fun. our very own. And it was, it was the case of the purloin pooch. That's correct. And that is actually going to run on the channel, on Metro East uh, channels. And um, it's going to be shown um, at one of our movie nights. Good, good. And we'll yeah. have it on our website soon, too. We'll definitely have it yeah. on the website. Yeah. So if people are interested in volunteering here at Metro East, you might be a good person to call to get more information call about me. it. Or call me, and I'll get you into one of our and free you, orientations. Exactly. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So they can come in. Um, they take an orientation. They work with you or myself. And we just, you know, help folks get plugged in if... You want to produce a show, we'll get you plugged in. If you don't want to produce a show, but you just want to work with cameras, then we'll get you plugged in that way. Learn um, how to edit, learn how to. Exactly, you know. exactly. Yeah. But all you got to do is make that phone call, come into an orientation, and we'll get you going. Good. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so we know all about Metro East and the opportunities here. We also know about a, a great event coming up on uh, May 8th. 19th and 19th? Is that yes, the, the Mount Tabor the artwork. Artwork. Uh, artwork. Artwork. The Mount Tabor <laughs> Artwork. May 18th through the 19th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday. That's a Saturday and Sunday. Um, come by, bring the kids. 40 artists, 25 sites, free admission. It's going to be fun. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much, fun. Tosh, for being here today. Katie. My pleasure. <laughs> I you. enjoy it. Thank Good. you. Okay. And thanks for watching this uh, first segment of Community Hotline. We'll be right back. You won't want to miss it. We'll be talking with Amy Roloff from the Amy Roloff Charity Foundation.